follow up on Iron Dome. How effective has it been in deterring the attacks? And I know you mentioned this uh, a bit in terms of the interceptors, but has Israel asked for interceptors on an ongoing basis in, in light of the situation? I, you ask how effective it has been in deterring. Um, I can't say that it is deterred, obviously, because a huge number of rockets have fired, but it has been um, effective as it typically is in taking a lot of those rockets out of the sky and saving countless lives by doing so. Now, now of course, some rockets have gotten through uh, to, to tragic cost, and that has been the pattern we have seen in previous conflicts as well. Now, Israel will have an ongoing need for interceptors because an air defense system is only as good as your ability to continue to put interceptors in that can take out the rockets that are coming to kill civilians and rain down terror on cities. And we are committed to making sure that we are working with Israel to produce and supply the requisite number uh, of Iron Dome interceptors so that they can keep those systems going on an indefinite basis going forward, because we cannot say how long this will be going on. Yeah. Thank you. Jake, will you support an Israel militarily and rightly denounce this horrific and heinous act against Israeli civilians? How can you make sure that Israel goes uh, after Hamas and in its infrastructure in Gaza, not two million Palestinians who are trapped with no water, with no electricity, with no medical supply. The UN schools are overflowed now. Their, the number of dead is reaching 850 so far, including six members of one family of the former ambassador to Washington. How can you make sure that this, this is not revenge, but actually going after Hamas, who committed this horrible crime? Well, as the President said today, the difference between countries like the United States and Israel is that we do not deliberately target civilians. We are strongest when we are committed to the rule of law, and we work to make sure that all military operations are conducted consistent with the rule of law and the law of war. That is something that President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu have discussed, not just in this context, but in previous contexts as well. That is something the United States has always stood for and, and always will continue to stand for. Can yeah. You, uh, sorry, can you uh, confirm that the Egyptian intelligence has passed information to the Israelis <coughs> that the attack is, is, is imminent or some attack is going to happen? I cannot confirm that. Yeah.